COSA, the Central Ontario Standard Bread Association, proudly serving Ontario horse people with integrity and accountability. Collaborative, supportive, helping to ensure a vibrant harness racing industry, lifetime membership is free and there are many benefits. Become a new member today. COSA, representing the interests of horse people racing at Ontario racetracks. To find out more, visit COSAonline.com. Hey, good evening, everyone. Welcome back to the Raceway at Western Fair District, London, Ontario, for some hot ball harness racing action. I'm your track announcer, Shannon Sugar Doyle, with you. Setting up things for this evening. All 10, of course, featured on HPI. And the first four, I believe, the TVG network south of the border picks us up. So you're going to be playing into some very nice pools probably all night. It's pub night, top of the fair. Doors are open. No reservation required. A fabulous spot to watch the racing from. Great pub style menu there as well. Let's get to talking tickets. The TVG pick three play right up front in the opener. We've gone four deep to start things off. Number two sports jacket with that inside post should be all right in there. He gets away from some out outside draws there in recent weeks. Uh, number five hope for heaven uh, coming in off the claim going out for Kyle Fellows tonight. Travis Henry on board an early speed threat. Number five hope for heaven. Big odds in the morning line getting 10 to 1 on that one right now. All righty, over into race number two, middle leg of this TVG pick three. Number one, Vintage Smile is a must play. Uh, tell you what, two starts ago, 28 to 1 winner. Last time out, it was 5 to 1. Not getting close to those kind of odds this evening. The Ona Standard Bread 2020 group. On the ownership line there for the one vintage smile. Best of luck to the connections. Trying to make it three in a row. Austin Sorey stays on for the trainer, Scott McDibbon. Uh, the solid competition should come from three. Better than love in there in the second race. Third race, nothing jumps off the page. Plenty of inexperience in there. Uh, quite a few first-time starters. There is a scratch of number seven. Hit the all button for race three to complete the early pick three. $11.20 to play along with that ticket on the screen. There's an early pick four that does start up in that third race. And again, it's tough. Uh, nothing really popping off the page. So we're going to stick with that all button. The all button to kick off leg one of an early pick four. Then over into race four, you've got Keystone Prestige coming in from Woodbine Mohawk Park. Another live bullet there for Kyle or for the Fellows team. This is when uh, trained by Robert Don Fellows. Keystone Prestige out of post two and uh, fourth race. Number three, Sports Lover for Team Horner. Like the chances there as well. That one is always in the hunt. We're four deep in the fifth. Getting on over to race number six. If we get there, we're going to look to complete with either one deadly action or five south wind. Massimo expected to be better today. 20 center. The way that early pick four looks on the screen is 2240. Seventh race on the board for tonight. Uh, you know what? It's a late pick four starting up. Another $5,000 guaranteed pool. Low take. A go-to wager here. Talking about a late pick four, folks. Late pick four, which will start up in race number seven. Four deep in the opening lag. Chasing after some value, possibly. Number six, Brave World, is coming in from Woodbine Mohawk Park. It's a driver change to Paul McKenzie. Expected to take a ton of action. That one saw preferred action at Woodbine Mohawk Park. So gets a bit easier for Brave World coming in, trying to ship in and win. First time I saw this horse live, I believe, was in Charlottetown. Uh, tried his luck at the Gold Cup and Saucer uh, trials there. So Brave World for the stable Brave World group. Expected favorite race seven. Had to use a plan B, C, and D there. Uh, try to get some value there maybe to beat the heavy favorite. Eighth race. It's an all button. They're on the trot. A field of seven. Hoping for value there. This late pick four of mine, it's all going to hinge on number two, Betters Western, who's getting major class relief. Draws an inside post as well. If he can be on or near the lead in there for Team McDonald, we're talking Brett and Father Ron with two. Betters Western in the ninth. I think he's uh, 
must play and my key to this late pick four. We're five deep in race 10 to complete. We're back on the trot for our high five finale. $28 even on a 20 cent, 20 cent late pick four. I believe the potential's there for a very nice payout on that late pick four. So hop on board if you like. We've got a long shot play. It comes up in that opening leg of race number seven. I went through all my circles in the program, horses that I do like. One I do like, one that is circled and pretty good in the morning line. Number three, artistic pick in race seven. Six to one there in the morning line. Watch this one uh, bust off the gate last time out from an outside post. He's more than capable with these, and I can tell you he was locked and blocked. Ton of pace uh, to finish up in his last start here. Gets his nose on gate, expected to be on or near the lead again. Uh, number three, artistic pick, a long shot factor, possibly race seven, opening leg of a late pick four. We do have some best bets, uh, courtesy of our guest handicapping crew, uh, Rod Adams Jr., Lucerella, Terry Wilson, myself, my best bet on the evening, going to Vintage Smile there in race number two. Again, uh, one at some pretty good odds. Two starts ago, 28 to one. Last time out, it was five to one. Five to two morning line here. Uh, if you can get anything close to that, hop on board. He's trying for three in a row. The rail helps for sure. Vintage Smile for the Ona Standard Red 2020 group and Team McNibbin. Over into race six for Rod Adams Jr.'s best bet. He's going to chase after the five. Southwind Massimo, another five to two morning line on that one. Second time for this barn, trainer Ron McDonald. And had an excuse last time out, you know, just getting the lay of the land once again, was trailing throughout. Did close up well on a wide side. Expect more from five Southwind Massimo in race number six. Rod Adams Jr., best bet on the night. A couple of more best bets. Lou Sorella, Terry Wilson stepping up to the plate here. Lou Sorella in race nine. He's with me on this too. Better's Western. Uh, maybe get a decent price. He's four to one on the morning line. And Lou is expecting much better again. Gets away from the preferred types where he's still managed third and fourth place finishers there. Brett McDonald on board for trainer Ron McDonald and Synergo Ventures, Inc. of Toronto. Race 10 for Terry Wilson's best bet. He's going to chase after one of a uh, Patrick Shepard trainee, Brett McDonald. Another live one, possibly. Number four, Cadillac Cruiser for Terry. In the finale, gets his nose on gate. He looks capable and possibly at a price. Number four, Cadillac Cruiser, a Terry Wilson best bet on tonight's card. That's going to do it for the pregame. As mentioned, it is pub night, top of the fair. Doors are open, no reservation required. Fabulous spot to watch the racing from and a fabulous pub style menu as well. We're coming in hot. Uh, three cards last week, almost $1.2 million wagered on those three cards. And again, we're going to get some TVG action to start off tonight. All 10 featured on HPI. We're going to wish you the best of luck from wherever you're playing from. Those of you that have joined us on track, we're glad you're with us. Good luck tonight. 10 races starting up at about 6.15 Eastern.